Hey everyone, and welcome to my channel. Today's video is in collaboration with Sherry's Corner. I will have her link listed down below in my description box. So for today, we are making crop pot meals. And so for my crop pot meal, I'm gonna be making chili. So I went to the store, got some light red kidney beans, dark red kidney beans, tomato sauce, diced tomatoes, some minced garlic, ground beef, and of course the chili powder mix. So um, what I decided to do was make the meat on top of the stove. That way this went a little faster at a, since I decided to make this um, crock pot chili after work. And so I went ahead and just grounded up the meat. Meanwhile, let me just say that this video is a great collaboration as a lot of people are starting to see the weather change and they are starting to want to bring those crock pots out so definitely be sure to check out Sher sherry's link in my description box down below as she definitely has a lot of great what's for dinner videos especially because she's always sharing what she's cooking she also does things like grocery hauls and other things like that sharing her family and much more so I decided to go ahead and put the tomato sauce into my crock pot and the chili powder seasoning. I also drained the light red and the dark red kidney beans into a strainer. I then kind of like shook them up and added in mostly like half of both. That way once they were mixed together i was able to add in both um so i did mix in my chili powder seasoning and i also added in some minced garlic and so what i did was just kept scooping to add half of the red light kidney beans and half of the red dark kidney beans and i just mixed it up and went ahead and strained my meat so this way it would only take about two to three hours to heat up especially when you're not ready to eat right away and you want to eat kind of like later this is really great um so i had got off this day around 3 30 and came straight home started immediately making the meat for this chili and so i'm just adding in some crushed tomatoes and I went ahead and mixed everything up all together next I am going to just kind of like mix it up the best way I can turn it on high for about two to three hours and just let it let it bake meanwhile I did pick up this family size pull apart kit I have made this before this is garlic bread and it makes about eight servings it includes the pre-cut dough and the sauce pouch that you need all you'll need to add in is shredded cheese and butter so of course you're gonna preheat your oven to 375 you'll grease your pan using the melted butter and the greased pouch that that they have the um, melted butter in the sauce pouch that they had this was on sale for three dollars and 29 cents due to the fact that the expiration date was coming up soon so i am going to go ahead and get those two tablespoons put into this pan i am going to put it in the oven so that it can uh, melt faster than me putting it in a regular bowl and dirtying up a pan and so it just requires for you to take out the dough and then from there go ahead and just start pulling it apart after you have unraveled it and the butter looks definitely melted enough for me to add in the garlic um, sauce pouch and so this is really cool when you can buy a kit that comes like this where you just have to add the butter and mix these two things up together really good and once you mix them up together really really good you are then going to add in that dough of the um, pre-cut biscuits that they have given to you so once you roll it out you'll see all of these different cuts and 
just go ahead and um, peel them apart at every crease you see toss them in and you're just gonna go with the flow and mix it up until every piece at least has some type of the um, butter and garlic sauce on it and then from there you will then add in the shredded cheese which is just roughly about um, three-fourths cup so I just went ahead and pre-measured it myself um, without even measuring it and you just mix it all up and what you're gonna end up doing is putting it into the oven and it goes into the oven for about 18 minutes and then from there you are basically ready so chili and garlic bread and I have dessert ready so this is a Pillsbury filled crescent kit that was about $4.99 um, so what you're going to do is heat the oven to 375 or 350 if you have a non-stick pan. And it comes with everything that you need in here. So there's nothing that you will need outside of this kit. It comes with the icing, the dough, and the pre-filled apple filling. So one thing is go ahead and like open up your crescents and roll it out. At the slits go ahead and just break it apart and of course that's hard to do when you're trying to vlog but just break them apart cut a little corner of this pouch and then you're going to simply just start like about just a little bit away from the edge start pushing the filling mix onto these crescent rolls and just fill each one you definitely can use as much as you would like to I definitely did. I used the whole pouch and I wanted to make sure that each one had the correct same amount. So I just kept going over each one to add more. Meanwhile, check out our garlic bread. So when I filled the rest of them up, I went ahead and rolled them up and then you're going to eventually make them into crescents. Um, so this is what you can see here. I'm just making them into crescents if I can. Um, just like kind of shaping them and getting that into the oven. These go into the oven for about eight to nine minutes. And so my timer's still going. And now I'm finally going to take out the garlic bread as that is fully done. Um, that took about five minutes itself after once I had put in the apple um, fillers and so finally they were done and here they are coming out of the oven so now I'm gonna ice in them because it already came with the pre icing package I hope that you guys enjoyed this what's for dinner video as I really enjoyed creating a crock pot meal but at the same time I created the whole meal so I hope that you guys enjoyed my crock pot meal and I hope that you guys enjoy seeing what is for dinner today be sure to check out the playlist link in my description box down below.